This morning I've been working on the solar panels and then I realized I have to bring up my camera. Alright, what I've got going on here uh, AC, DC I've got my higher voltage meter and what I'm doing is trying to figure out what's going on here. Why? Yeah, see there's no power output right here. No power output. I've connected two panels together. There's no power output. So, I've got to figure out what's wrong. Which connector? It's a, it's trouble. It's a problem trying to isolate which connector it is. I can figure out which panel is the problem, so that's why I put this up in a prop here. Okay, this panel is giving me a good readout. And this panel is giving me a good readout. See, here's the crazy thing. I just, it's really driving me insane. I plug them in together. And I get nothing. That's really weird. So which one is it? Which connector? It's really weird. I know what. Try this. Um, connect these two together instead. I've got to figure out which which panel it is so I can isolate it. Remove that panel from the system and uh, continue on here and produce some power because something's really weird with <laughs> weird no power no power ah individually they're fine connected i've got no power it's driving me insane if it was a diode blown or shorted, individually that panel would fail. It's got to be the connectors. But which panel? Which ones? I think what I have to do is just lay these down on the ground in a row. Get all my panels out, lay them down and figure out which panels I can connect together and get power out of. Because this is really crazy. This is really weird trying to figure out huh. which one it's awkward because uh, connectors don't reach very well let me see if we can do this all I've got to do is get some sunlight on there and find a find something that works and figure out which which panel isolating this figure out which panel has a bad connector the problem is when I put the meter in it makes a good enough connection if I can figure out which panel has failed we'll be good to go oh, is that again plus I couldn't do it up by the house very well, for one thing. Oh, what do I got on ohms? What did that happen? Huh? What? I'm getting two volts. Oh, here we go. I didn't have a good connection. Now I've got power. Okay. Now, with these guys, I've got power. So, I'm going to experimentally pull off that solar panel and bring over a different one. No, it's a... Uh... Wait a minute. There we go. Yeah, I've got 60 volts here. 
So I'm gonna try to isolate that other solar panel and see if that was the one. I was having struggles doing this up against the house. Obviously I was crawling around in there and I wasn't able to really uh, get inside there properly. So now with them away from the house, uh, maybe I can figure it out. I've got to get more solar power and then I can get the IP cameras going and the weather station online and really get things rolling here at the off-grid homestead. I've got a, another solar panel. This is the one actually that was never used since I picked them up that time from the dealer. First, I'll check it individually, see if it gets power. And then I'll check it connected to the others together and see if maybe eliminating that one might have been a problem. I think I found it. That's odd. The connector on that panel I just moved. I never saw it before because it was so dark behind the thing up against the house. I think I found it. I think the connector on that other panel was different from the others. Just slightly different. I shouldn't necessarily make ah, flies over here. Yucky. The, uh, it shouldn't necessarily... Oh wait, no, that's the different one. That's a different connector. Well, I don't know then. Let me see. We have power. And... Again, I connect three panels. This is driving me insane. I connect three panels together and I've got no power again. I've got no power again. I, I I don't get it. What am I doing wrong? It's so weird. Let's see. I need my leather man. It's so weird. I'll get power from two panels together, but when I connect the third, and, and I'm trying different panels, I get no power. That's so weird. this one. Process of elimination. No, now I'm not getting any power. So maybe it was this panel. Just got to keep going until I figure out which connector because the voltmeter obviously I have to wriggle it around until I get a connection. So that's not a good test of which of the connectors is failing on me. I just have to do combinations of panels until I find the right ones. I don't have a better way of figuring this out. Figure out which panels are failing. There I've got power and this pair. Maybe it's this one was failing me all this time. Let me put the other one back on and see. This process of elimination. I wonder if there's a, a test for the connectors, a way of testing. Uh, and there must be some equipment they can use to do that, because I'm sure I'm not the first person that's ever had this problem. I 
this one back up. Sure would be nice if I can get this power going today. Extra solar power at the tiny house. So, alone, this one is producing power. Yes. And these guys are producing power. I just checked, so I want to put these together and see if we've got a connection. Sure it would be nice if I've got power through, finally. So that was driving me insane. I hope that was this is it. I hope this is it because um I've got it. Okay, I've got connection all the way through. Now see it was it, it, it was driving me crazy because with a voltmeter every single panel checked out perfect. And when I connected them, Sometimes I'd have a good connection, sometimes I wouldn't, depending on which panels I was connecting, but I couldn't figure out which one it was, because connecting them together in pairs and testing with a voltmeter, I got power every single time, no matter which combination I put together. It was, it, it was really weird. So um, I think that one panel, if I finally got it isolated now, had an intermittent or a, a failing connection maybe, because it was like... I don't know, it was, it, was, it was really causing me some stress. So now I do have 90 volts, which is what I'm supposed to have. So I'm going to swing this around and prop it up. Figure out where I'm going to put it. Because I really don't want to clutter up the front of the tiny house, but I need to free up the siding here so I can finish the project. So the panels are going to be spaced away from the house for now. Like this. And then uh, I got to prop up that third panel somehow. Get some power going here. Alright. I'm going to pause the camera while I figure out how I'm going to do that. It works! It works! I had 435 watts. I plugged these in and it jumped up to 584. It went from MPPT to absorption mode instantaneously. Happy times, happiness. I'm bringing in 36, 37 amps of power right now. It fluctuates a bit. And that's with the panels in a weird spaced out pattern. So, I'm gonna straighten these out and give them a wash because it looks like pollen season is beginning. Yes it is, pollen season is beginning. I'm gonna straighten these out and give them a wash and pull in the most power I've ever pulled into the tiny house on wheels.